Okay, so here we are week eight. Week eight of my journey in Italy. And if you've been following me for the last 11 weeks, you know that it's not just a journey or a trip, but you know that I'm actually fulfilling my dreams, living out the future that I designed, that I created for myself. And um, I'm giving a little bit of thought today about something that is a little known fact or maybe at least something that we don't really focus a lot of our time or attention on but uh, it's a big secret I gotta tell you uh, here it is we're all going to the future not one person is immune from that we're definitely all going to the future and why is it important to think about the future well we're gonna be spending the rest of our lives there so the experience of life that you have today is given by that future that's coming at you. Just ask the lady who tried to jump off the bridge yesterday here in Modica. Clearly her experience of life or what was coming at her in the future wasn't clear, was grim. And so that brings us to actions that are reflective of how we feel now. On the same token, when your future is full of amazing things and who you're being is a reflection of the future that's coming at you then the actions that you take and consequently the results that you achieve are positive and amazing and uh, lead you to have an extraordinary life so what I say about the future is since we're gonna be rest spending the rest of our lives there and we want to experience life today in a positive way then we have to put something in our future that's gonna call us to be and that's gonna excite us and you know things that are we're passionate about and that's why I say to fill it with your dreams in my future by design course that's all we talk about and different segments of it for sure different components of it but basically the 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 idea is that you're living into your future and why not put things into your fu in your future that are gonna have you experienced an extraordinary life today because living in the moment is what's important not focusing on the future but having an eye on the future and knowing what's in there and knowing what you're driving into what you're forging into that's what's gonna have you be the way you're, you're being today my life today is amazing it's exciting it's full of um, joy and fulfillment because I'm living out the dreams that I set out for myself when I was 17 years old and uh, I'm still creating continually dreams inside of living the dream today I'm creating dreams for the future tomorrow as a matter of fact today after I'm um, done this I'm heading off to San Vito Lo Capo which is one of the most beautiful beaches in Palermo somewhere that I've never been and something that's on my dream list so I've shared with you over the last eight weeks the different uh, dreams that I've ripped out of my dream book while I've been here so even inside of the dream fulfilling dreams um, is the thing that is making me experience life in a way that I never thought I could experience it uh, before so um, that you know you create a dream you have a dream and then all of a sudden you have these dream crushers that come along and tell you that you shouldn't do those things or are concerned about your dreams or tell you that they're bad ideas and although I love terrible ideas and everybody that knows me knows that but um, definitely there's something to be said about having the people in your life uh, on board and um, excited for you about the things that you're taking on in your life because it just makes it easier whether it's friends and family you know maybe your children or your parents or whether it's somebody like a business partner or your boss or your co-workers or you know your banker people that are um, relying on you or need you to be around for other reasons you want to you want to make sure that they're going to be on board because otherwise then when you're doing what you're doing although you're going to still experience the joy that you're going to experience there's going to be this black cloud over everything so i remember when i told my parents who by the way were the last people that i told about this uh, opportunity to work in italy um, I gave a lot of thought to how I was gonna tell them because I knew that although that they love me and they want me to be happy and my parents are huge supporters of me I knew they weren't gonna be crazy about the idea of their daughter flying off to the other side of the world 
and leaving them and you know their grandkids, my kids who are older, but still children are children, um, alone for three months or without my presence for three months. So having enrolled them in what I was up to really has made it a lot easier for me <clears throat> to be at peace with what I'm doing and not have to be concerned that I've got people back home that are disappointed in me or that are worried about me or that are discouraged. You can flip up your hands in the air and say who cares what other people think. And to an extent, you do want to you know, create your life for you and not for other people. I've shared that in past episodes, but there's also something to be said about having people on board, uh, especially people that are important to you, whether they're important to you emotionally or whether they're important to, you know, you forwarding your life. So, you know, how you get people to agree with you is you have to enroll them. And enrollment is causing a new possibility, something that's possible for you to be present for another so that they're inspired and moved and touched by what it is that you're doing. And then obviously if they love you and if they care about you, then they'll support you. So um, enrollment is something that's important because you need people in your life. Try to live it by yourself. It's not that fun. Ask Tom Hanks in Castaway. Um, but <clears throat> we talk about also in the Future by Design course, uh, once we create our dreams and once we start to create our future and design our futures, we talk about, or I talk about something that I call the science of dreams fulfilled, which is uh, uh, four things that have to be in place in order for you to fulfill your dreams. And one of them is your winning team and the people in your life, the people that are going to help you with whatever it is that needs to be handled while you're off doing your thing. So enrollment needs to be present for people. And how you enroll people is you share with them your why. Why are you doing this? Why is it important to you? You know, we tend to tell people what we want and then we just expect them to agree. And telling people what you want is not a way to get agreement. A way to get agreement from others, a way to get a yes in any situation is to put yourself into the other person's world. In my example, when I spoke with my parents, I wanted to come from a place that I was really getting what they were gonna be dealing with when I shared this news with them. So I went over there, I went into their world, and I went to consider what it is that they would be feeling and the emotions that they would be expressing and the concerns and the worries that they would have, you know, that they would, were having or that they had uh, about the whole prospect. And once I was able to do that, then I shared from a place of getting where they were coming from. So getting where they were coming from, being in their world, not seeing it from my point of view. You guys right now are looking at this you know, beautiful cityscape behind me. I'm looking at a green door. If we sit and argue here about what we see, we're gonna be seeing different things. But the only way for you to get access to what I'm looking at is to come over here and have a look at what I'm seeing, which is the green door. I can see what you're seeing because there's a reflection in my phone, but you get the point. So once you can, uh, first of all, get into their world and understand where they're coming from, then you have access to all sorts of new things. And you're not in a defense mode, but you're in a, a, a state of enrollment, a state of sharing, a state of, you know, being able to express what it is that you're feeling. And then you have to be able to express your why. Why are you doing this? Why is it important to you? Once you get clear on the why and you enroll others on um, what it is that you're doing, then you've got step one of, uh, of the science of dreams fulfilled conquered. And if you wanna know the rest, you have to enroll in the course. So I'm gonna leave you with this. If you're thinking of something or you have a dream or something that you wanna take on and there are people in your life that you need to consider, Think what, about why. Start with why. Why is it that you're doing what you're doing? Do you even know why? And maybe if you can figure that out, then you can enroll other people and uh, have a, a whole team of people behind you like I do that are supporting what it is that you're doing and the life that you're living, which makes it that much greater. So remember your why and don't ever stop living your dreams. Have a great day, everybody.